Good afternoon, everyone. I have not uh, switched off from the short comment that I made yesterday when uh, Cliff was speaking. Uh, I think the teacher in me was uh, woke up and this small presentation is actually a continuation of the comment I made. This is not a technical talk. I uh, request you to bear with me. Maybe you could think it's a stand-up comedy. Uh, I have only one small message to make, but I am bringing it in very sharp focus before you. Uh, it is easy to say that uh, teacher, te a teacher will still be relevant, but I am trying to rub it down with a few slides, with a very minimal text. Chat GPT can make a PowerPoint. When you finish, please tell me whether it can make this PowerPoint which I have made. So the, I saw Robin was using this, showing this title, Who is Afraid of Chat GPT? And I have answered it also, not me for sure. I would like to warn you, I think you can explain to Cliff what this means. There is some thalla here, which is unavoidable because I am trying to uh, put across, contrast my life as a teacher with that of Chat GPT. So it is inevitable that I do some thalla. So this short presentation is about me and ChatGPT, me versus ChatGPT. So students ask me questions, they also ask ChatGPT questions. We both answer, sometimes our answers are wrong, sometimes our answers are not very convincing. But I sometimes, uh, sorry, okay, so this is the comment, I sometimes, I am sometimes outdated or wrong, ChatGPT is also sometimes outdated and wrong. The contrast is that, oh, Maybe I'm jumping too much. Uh, I know a bit outside my subject, but the chat GPT knows so many things outside, if at all it has a subject. Very importantly, I would like to say, I ask questions. Chat GPT does not ask you questions, ask the students questions, except for clarifying what you meant. I, I don't see that you go to chat GPT, before you ask something, the chat GPT asks you something. That doesn't happen. I am very proud to say as a teacher at the fag end of my teaching career for the last 10 years, I have never ended a lecture without every single student in my class asking, raising a question. If they don't raise, then I ask them to raise two or three questions. That is the kind of punishment that I give them. I speak good English. I think Chat GPT speaks better than me. It speaks almost like, I think many people, uh, Arun, Dr. Arun Surendran also made the comment, speaks very much like Shashi Tharoor. I speak very good Malayalam, but Chat GPT speaks Malayalam like Shashi Tharoor, which means it is not very good. I am biased, I self-curate. Chat GPT is also biased in two levels. It also self-curates. If you ask it a political question, it says, I am sorry, I won't answer. In my case also, I sometimes answer, I sometimes curate. I have also very deep biases which I do not know, which also show up. ChatGPT also has very deep biases which shows up. Most students, when they sit with ChatGPT, they sit alone with ChatGPT. But when my students sit with me, they sit with their peer groups. So yesterday, day before yesterday, uh, Professor Cliff came to Kerala University, had a very live demonstration of how learning is very different when you sit in groups and when you have peers and then you talk to them. Can ChatGPT offer that? Maybe sometime in future it would, I do not know, but right now uh, it's no match for me. I sometimes take my classes outside in nature, sit below a tree or here in near a pandanus tree and have a lecture on machine learning. Can ChatGPT match that? I sometimes do live experiments to show students about, a, uh, demonstrate a principle to students, not necessarily with my university students. This was on a science day. I am show, showing them that however, 
how much ever force you apply on a rope this uh, weight that is hanging on it the rope will never become straight because you are applying force like this and this force goes down there and the impact that this live demo can make cannot be matched by textual output produced by chat gpt students can fall in love with chat gpt i suppose also but you cannot marry chat gpt and have babies but <laughs> so one student fell in love and we are married and we have two kids i take students out for a tea cup of tea i don't know whether chat gpt has the facility in it i take students out for a picnic i take students out for a picnic in other places too i join students on the playground in the evening i think that makes our communication at a very different level because on the ground everybody is equal they you forget about uh, teacher student relationship and you become human beings it's what's called sportsman spirit but i am not very sure because we find that sports people also have terrible fights between i sometimes actually i made this slide yesterday because i was in a position to give a very big loan to a student you know <laughs> and i think uh, it's a very very important thing of our relationship that when students have a problem and you are they know that you have a ugc scale and all they expect you to help i do help sometimes i sometimes ask my students why are you gloomy you seem to be not very happy i do not know whether chat gpt would ever ask that and even if it has, uh, sometimes you have to go and tell please tell me something i am gloomy please tell me something to charge me up i think that chat gpt does i sometimes pat my students on the back and tell them well done i laugh with my students can chat gpt match me i eat with my students from the same leaf can chat gpt match me does it eat it can only eat electric i take students to my home sometimes just chat gpt have a home i take photos of my students i post it on the facebook they are very happy and they are very proud sometimes i know my students i know their names i know where they come from i know what they like i know when their birthday is sometimes and i can maybe th these things chat gpt will take over but uh, uh, the the kind of word no that i have used here is of a different connotation i do many things to motivate my students for example i ask them to write quotes every student has a message every human being has a message to so i ask them to write i help them to uh, edit i put it as a poster in the portico and i see that they are very happy they call their students to come friends to come see my poster is in my portico not of gandhi or yesu jesus but mine uh i i also go back to the first slide where i said you know students ask questions to me and chat gpt chat gpt answers impressively but sometimes i don't answer i tell them very profoundly i tell them why don't you answer let me hear i will we will discuss your answer i don't know whether chat gpt says that so after covid it was a very terrible thing to see the vicinity of the department we had to sweep i together with my students in this photo i am not there because i was taking the photo believe me i was sweeping i honor my students and uh, uh, you know this is a this is like patting on the back but this is the final one and uh, i think uh, saying something in a in a textual manner to motivate people and actions are very different so i celebrate christmas with my students i sometimes digress i don't think chat gpt does that you ask a question he precisely answers that's a good quality but i never do that i sometimes talk i pick up a word i go and digress i have lot of debate sometimes students love that more than me answering the question and this is very useful when you don't have an answer i sometimes get angry and i have found that chat gpt never gets angry i tried Uh, responding to it it i asked a question it gives an answer i said idiot what is this and then it said sorry i am very sorry to disappoint you but if students call me uh, idiot then i don't respond like that i will be very angry with that let me be very frank with you i use humor to communicate chat gpt is capable of producing humor but you have to ask it to produce humor but none of my students in my class come and tell me sir tell say something humorous you take it as something that you have to subconsciously produce pepper your lecture with and i do not know whether chat gpt has that great sense i visit my former students at their home sometimes i surprise them 
I visit, I know their parents, I talk to their parents, I have taken lunch in their house. This is Dr. Umesh from Kannur. I help my students network. So here is Dr. K.P. Mohanan, who is student of uh, Professor Noam Chomsky. Uh, so I brought him to our department, I networked him with the students, some of them talked to him a lot. Very eminent scholar. I help my students to get jobs, can ChatGPT do that? I write recommended letters for my students. I am sure ChatGPT can do it better. But unfortunately with the sign ChatGPT it is not accepted in any university. So only my name as professor is accepted. I made this PPT, I told you earlier, can ChatGPT match this? Because this is very local. And perhaps if ChatGPT makes a PowerPoint, it comes from its brain. But this ChatGPT comes from my heart. I love teaching, I love talking to students. I do not know about ChatGPT. Uh, I believe I also am a very happy person because I teach. When I teach, I am a student. When I, when I teach, I teach joyfully. And when I teach joyfully, I experience very insightful learning. Somebody here told me that I taught DSP to them long time ago and they said it was good. Actually, it is wrong. I did not know what, what uh, DSP was. Only after the teaching, I started learning what, what was DSP. I love my students. I think that is a high point to stop this PowerPoint. Uh, I do not know whether ChatGPT loves its students. I am, <laughs> I am in no way afraid that ChatGPT is going to replace teachers. Each of you need not be afraid that it is going to replace you. We are so, so special beings as teachers. We are unreplaceable. We possibly will coexist with ChatGPT or Generative AI. They will become a very helpful tool for us. But without us, they have no value. They have absolutely no value. So tell me who wins. Well, some of you might think ChatGPT will take over many of the things we have said here. I do not mind. I am happily retiring next year, so I don't have an issue. Thank you.